Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. My name is Amawar25 and today we are going to be having a look at how you can use multiple Grand Theft Auto 5 folders with different mods or no mods installed at all. So before we start, I recommend you watch part 1 of my Learn to Mod GTA 5 out of those ways series. Um, I'm going to assume that you have followed that and we are going to continue exactly from where we left off. So if you haven't seen that, the link will be in the top right on a card right now. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we are now in our Grand Theft Auto 5 installation that we uh, customized with LSBDFR and Rage Blogger Nook in our last video. So you can see we have uh, like Rage Blogger Nook installed, we have LSBDFR installed, just like we ended up with last video. So um, as you may remember, what we also did last video, uh, if you followed my advice, we also created a folder called Grand Theft Auto V Online. And this folder, as you might remember, was a completely clean uh, folder of the game with no mods installed at all. So currently we have this folder with our LSBDFR mods uh, and Rage Blogger mods installed, and this folder is completely clean. Now what if you want to use your online folder? In that case, you need to rename it to Grand Theft Auto V. So the folder that you want to use, the folder with the Grand Theft Auto V installation that you want to use, has to be named uh, the default thing. So in my case that is Grand Theft Auto V. So if I want to use the online folder, if I want to play online, I need to rename this to something like Grand Theft Auto V LSBDFR and then I can rename this one to Grand Theft Auto V just like that and then I can navigate into the folder and I can select playgtav.exe and it'll load all the files from the Grand Theft Auto V directory. Now if you forget to do that you'll probably get banned from online because it will then still be looking in this directory because this is the one that was then still called Grand Theft Auto V. So make sure that the directory you're using is actually named Grand Theft Auto V. Now using this technique you can of course create multiple Grand Theft Auto V modded installations as well. As you can see I still have my old Grand Theft Auto V installation here which I have now called Rage Plugin 45. Um, this um, Grand Theft Auto V installation has a lot of other mods installed as well. Uh, and it runs Rage Blogger Nook 0.45. So whenever I want to use this one, I simply rename this one to Grand Theft Auto V. So I'll rename this one back to Online because that is what it is. And then I rename this one to Grand Theft Auto V just like that. And it'll work exactly as I expected to with Rage Blogger Nook 0.45. You can do the same if you have other Grand Theft Auto V folders, for example, when you use real life mods instead of police mods, uh, you want to do like real life jobs, you want to have a Grand Theft Auto V folder dedicated to that, you can do it in exactly the same way. Just always make sure that you put them all inside the Rockstar Games folder where your default Grand Theft Auto V directory was located, and also make sure that the name of the Grand Theft Auto V folder you want to use is equal to the default name, which for me was Grand Theft Auto V. So to summarize, this video has shown you how you can switch between different Grand Theft Auto V directories that may have different mods installed, and how you can get them set up and renamed so you can use them without any issues. I hope you enjoyed, if you did please remember to leave a like and if you'd like to stay up to date with my future content please consider subscribing as well. And if you haven't checked out the Learn GTA 5 Morning Albo's Way playlist yet, a card is going to be on screen right now and that playlist contains all the videos you need to be able to mod your game like I do. And I'll show you how to mod all the various aspects of GTA 5 from the very beginning. So with that being said guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.